have written down here. Uh, you ready to tell the truth about NBA Youngboy? Uh, I'm not ready to do this. Uh, what's the truth? That nigga's trash. He's horrible. He is horrible. He is horrible. He is really, 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 really bad. As a rapper or a person? I'm not, I don't know him as a person. Oh, okay. I'm only speaking about music. Music. He's really, really, really bad. And that thing happened with him where when he was out, the label pushed a button and did some YouTube. So then all the little kids had to just come to, come to the gathering and tell you about NBA young boy views and how great he is and how awesome he is and how amazing he's doing. Now that the label's backed up a bit, and now that we done had about three or four projects while he's been in Utah on house arrest. You had way more than that. I know. And that's that, that, I know. that to me is where the I problem know. lies. Because earlier young boy music don't sound like this to me. Like even he just dropped a single today. I listened to it last night and I cut it off midway through. I'm he's just like, I can't. What's the difference between his music then and now? Me, I could hear it. Like I literally, well, I he's stuck. I'm old. He ain't making it for me. I got that part. But. Might play a young boy sleeper, man. Tell me so I can leave. <laughs> I don't hear none of that. Um, He's an idiot. I don't have nothing else that I need. This thing I dropped was a sad at two. My album's still in the top ten. This nigga, don't speak on me. I don't play that. Don't rat on me, neither, you bitch. I said, I want that piece about two minutes old. Stupid, hey, dumb. Yo, don't even get hard no more. Count, nigga. I ain't no, I ain't no sabotaging. Yeah. Me. With that nigga, man, don't rat on me. I'm, don't rat on me. And I don't want to argue with you, nigga. Hey, you should do all them interviews. Hey, come on, Grave Digger Mountain and talk to me, nigga. You can't, you can't do that, man. Hey, you made, nigga. Shut your This thing I draw was a sack. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And when I opened up the phone this morning, I seen that timeline and timeline, that algorithm, algorithm, and it did. I say, oh, the internet is internet in full throttle. Joe Button was coming across it back to back, back to back, calling NBA young boy trash and saying his music was horrible. And I knew exactly what type of response I was going to get from that by the end of the day. And I had a link in the description where y'all can watch that in full at on the Joe Budden Podcast, episode 680, Malcolm on Ice. And now, as your boy also put up his chart and showed it, hey, nigga, I'm number nine. Birdman just came in and he had to let it be known how he feeling. At Joe Budden, you effing with something you should leave alone, blood. Stunner, Carleon, Gotti, NBA RG, at Never Broke Again, LLC. Yeah, five is gonna get gangsta out here for you around. I know a few spots you was gonna pull up. I could have pulled up on you on Miss Gladys play, boy, but I wasn't gangsta. I just, let me stop, bro. That nigga bird, man, dog. He gonna jump out there. This is the second time in a couple of months where he's had to come at, at Joe Button directly, he feels, for him speaking on the artist he's affiliated with. Earlier it was Drake. This time it's NBA Youngboy. And I'm going to tell you like this right here, this is that slippery slope in hip-hop when it comes to media and the artists. When you give an honest critique on music, when you're not really that big of a factor or a following, an artist might not even see it. It falls on deaf ears. But when you're a popping figure, one of the faces of this thing, not just rap and hip-hop, but podcast culture in general, it's going to look away when they open up their phone and see it on 20, 30, 40, 50 blogs back-to-back all the fans is tagging them and it's headlining. Joe Button is calling this artist trash. And the context that went with it as on the label programmed it in a certain way and insinuating that it's kind of fake and it's kind of like pushed a certain way. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion and a man got to be able to take an opinion when it comes to his art. If you're going to put art out there, you got to be ready for it to be judged. That just is what it is. But at the same time, people going to react differently. That's how this game going to go at times and stuff like that. But that nigga, even your young boy, jumped all the way out there. I said, nigga, your dick don't even get up. I said, bro, I have never heard a nigga tell another nigga that in my life. That nigga, you be a young boy, be coming with some shit out the hat. Nigga said he on Murder Mountain. 
I say, man, this nigga tripped all the way. <laughs> that that, that, that I burned about that nigga said grave digger about that nigga that named his spot in Utah. <laughs> And this had kicked off, I remember, earlier this year when Joe Budden questioned NBA Youngboy saying he was trying to stop the violence and everything like that there. But, man, they all successful. They all getting money. They all doing their thing. So it'll work itself out and everything like that. But I'll say this, man. This shit, this is one thing about this rap and hip-hop space we in now, bro. It's just get to this point, nigga. Everybody gonna have a difference of opinion. And your opinion can travel across the culture in less than five minutes because we in the age of information, man. And that's just the way this game is going, the way the game is made right now. And the best thing you can do is play it how it go, man, most definitely. NBA Youngboy got some tracks that I do rock with, though. Most, You know, I, he got some he got some stuff I, I put on, but like, okay, this is a cool little project and stuff, or a couple of songs, and then there's other songs that I might not like as much, but I'm the type of nigga, if it ain't for me, I just say it ain't for me. But if I see it getting promoted and pushed and everybody is saying it's hard, then I'm like, okay, nah, I ain't feeling that. But if it ain't just for me, it's a younger artist, and I know he catering kind of to that younger crowd and stuff i'm like all right do your thing that's for them and stuff like that but the words they do stay they do cut deep at times and this is how the game go tell me what y'all think we got more coming more videos 1000 stay on your pivot for shit show more coming